Hey everybody, welcome back to Home Theater Fanatics. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the new speaker from Klipsch, The Fives. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Giles, and as you noticed, the name is now Home Theater Fanatics. You know, I used to be JDM World, but I made the decision that I really wanna focus on home theater and the equipment that's associated with it, along with the process, technology, and philosophy of building great home theater. So I said, why not put that right into the name? And thus, I am now Home Theater Fanatics. And I'm really, really excited to bring you great content like this unboxing and review of The Fives. Now, before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so we can continue to bring you great content. But with that, let's go ahead and jump right in and see what these things look like. The Fives are the new powered speaker from Klipsch. These speakers are special because they include a huge suite of connectivity that you really can't find anywhere else. The Fives are the first powered monitors on the market with HDMI ARC to connect directly to a TV for high resolution, discrete, two channel TV sound. The Fives include a phono preamp, Bluetooth, HDMI ARC, digital optical, analog RCA, and USB inputs. They even have a subwoofer output that has an automatic crossover. Other features include a one inch titanium dome LTS tweeter mated to a 90 by 90 Tractrix horn, a four and a half inch long throw woofer, and a rear firing Tractrix port. Rounding out the package is robust DSP. The built-in dynamic bass equalization delivers powerful bass at any volume. Welcome back everybody. Now let's take a closer look at the speaker and Let's start with the external appearance, right? So these are a little bit smaller than the RP600Ms, and I'll give you a side-by-side -side in just a second so you can see what they look like compared to each other. But the one thing that everyone is gonna notice right off the bat is the woofer. It is not copper. So they have gone with a completely different aesthetic uh, than you typically see with a clip speaker with the fives. Now, uh, the complement on the front is the same one inch tweeter that you find in the RP600M. So you'll get that same high end sound, uh, but you get a much different look down here. Um, and this is also a smaller form factor speaker. So probably a little bit uh, less bass, but we'll really get into that when we do the measurements here pretty soon. On the rear of the speaker, you have your Tractrix port, since this is a base reflex design, as well as a full complement of connectivity. If you flip to the bottom of the speaker, you'll find some really nice cork. This stuff's a very, very grippy, and I think it's a step up from the little uh, rubber knobby legs that you sometimes get on speakers of this size. On top, on top you have two adjustment dials, and these are really, really swanky. They have a great feel to them, they're tactile, so they don't just spin, but they actually click a little bit as you move, and they have a great design engraved, so it's also visually appealing. From a finish point of view, the matte black in these is just gorgeous. Uh, there's a walnut color as well, but I don't like that quite as much. And uh, if you look closely, there's also a kind of modeled texture finish on the face of the speaker, which is really, really, really beautiful. Now let's take a look at the new The Fives versus the RP600M. A lot of people are familiar with this model, so you know what the size and shape and look is like, so you can really get a feel for what this is as compared to this one. Now, like I said before, let's pull these grills off and you can see the most stark difference between the two, right? Look at this uh, four and a half versus the uh, six and a half inch here. However, these tweeters, the same exact tweeter. Now, um, this obviously, is a big size difference in the two. I mean, we're looking at what? Three, two and a half inches in height. And then this one is another inch and a half, two inches wider. So this is a much, much larger unit than the fives. From a weight point of view, ugh, let's see. Um, oh God, the, the five is heavy. I mean, they're with the amp and all of the uh, internal components inside of this unit. So this is the unit with the guts. The other unit's more of the, the, the passive. You can always tell because the one with the guts has the uh, the buttons on top. Um, this is almost the same weight as this much larger unit. Now, if we spin to the back, they both have a Tractrix horn 
and the horns are actually about the same size as far as the physical dimensions, but you can see how they are uh, slanted the different way. And then this one actually has a smaller horn opening as opposed to this. Um, and obviously that's because of the different size in the drivers. But that is the difference between the RP600M and the fives. Now let's take a look at the REW measurements for the five. Giving me a hand, I've got Mike from Audio Architects. Hey, Mike. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm great. So let's uh, let's talk about what we've got going on here. So, um, you know, the first thing I notice is in this area we've got some room interaction, and you know I've measured uh, the speakers in, in room quite a bit, lots of different pairs, and this room always has this big peak, this big trough and then another peak. So this really isn't anything special about these particular speakers. Um, but what I will say is that, you know, at this 64, 65 uh, Hertz range, that's where they kind of fall off the cliff. Um, these speakers do have a four and a half inch driver. So the bass isn't all that strong. Um, you know, Mike, does this kind of mirror what, you, uh, what you've seen with these speakers as well? Is the, you know, the, the low end not super impressive, but, um, strangely strong but doesn't measure well i think it was it has a lot to do with the room so i think the room itself kind of created that uh beautiful bass that we heard out of these speakers however um and that's what probably translates into the rew because we did do a room rew instead of what i usually do which is a direct uh speaker rew um but yeah uh, the, the room definitely probably has a lot to do with the low end uh, anomalies that you're seeing there right on now, the one thing that I will call out as I look at this REW graph is that, um, you know, there's there's definitely a trend down. And if you kind of look at, you know, without these big room peaks, somewhere around in this measurement, 75 decibels or so. But once you get up to 10K, you know, you're, you're, you're down around the 64. So you're really seeing a, a curve drop of 10 decibels. And that is a significant change in, in volume level. So I don't think these are super linear um, as far as response goes. And even inside of the, the curve, you, you can see some pretty big troughs and peaks here that are giving you seven decibel swings. And, you know, from 4K to 6K, which is not even an octave of sound, you, you get this really big swing. So that's uh, that's fairly significant. And I've not seen that in other speakers, uh, high quality speakers in any event that I've measured in the same room. So that, that gives me a little bit of pause, um, but uh, you know, these are super efficient. Um, you know, I think they're uh, with the internal amplifier doing pretty well for the, the power that they're getting. Bass is pretty strong. High end is a little unpredictable. Okay, and with that, we're gonna move on and take a listen to these and see what they sound like in my room. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything you need to know about the fives to help you make the decision of, do you want these or not? And let me just say one thing. If you're looking for a pair of speakers that are powered, that are small, and that can connect to anything that you want to connect to, these are the ones that you want, or at least they should be in the running. So give them a shot. Go down to the shop, take a look, take a listen, and I think you're gonna be as impressed as I've been. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I drop this awesome content. And see you in the next video.